Bar. A Poway karate instructor charged with dozens of counts of sexual assault on a minor over a three-year period makes his first appearance in court today to answer those charges. Our Nancy Aziz joins us now live from the newsroom with more on what he is accused of. Nancy. Inside the courtroom, Josh Churchill pleaded not guilty to all of the charges against him. Meantime, the prosecution asked anyone else who may have been victimized by him to reach out to the sheriff's department. Before we do anything, I've looked over the... Looking nervous, Josh Churchill appeared in court for the first time, pleading not guilty to 52 counts of sexual assault on an underage girl. Prosecutors say the assaults occurred over a three-year period. According to one document, the alleged victim was 14 when they began. Churchill is 14 years her senior. 52 of them are um, sexual assaults, including um, sodomy, oral copulation, and uh, sexual penetration, all of a minor. He also pleaded not guilty to a charge of assault with force likely to cause great bodily injury for an alleged attack on the victim's father two weeks ago. Deputy District Attorney Lisa Fox says there could be more charges to come. Obviously, this is an ongoing investigation, and of course, it's always open to further counts and charges and allegations. Churchill, who is married, owns the United Studios of Self Defense in Poway. This is video of the Sheriff's Department serving a warrant on the place. He is accused of having unlawful sex with the girl at various locations, including the studio. Parents whose children have taken lessons there say they're stunned. Disbelief, shock, um, parents' worst nightmare. Um, Were you ever concerned? Heartbreaking. No, I never had a concern, but we also didn't um, leave her alone at, at class. We're you not to have any contact with uh, Jane Doe and John Doe. In court today, Churchill was ordered not to contact the girl or her father. The victim had recently filed a protective order to keep him away. Churchill filed a counter order saying he was receiving threatening texts from her dad's cell phone. The judge also reduced bail from $25 million to $1 million. Churchill's attorney, Kerry Armstrong, says it should have been lower. He didn't run. I mean, he's known about these allegations for a while, for at least a couple of weeks, and he stayed here in San Diego, so he's not a runner. If convicted on all charges, Churchill could spend the next 21 years behind bars. And Churchill will be back in court on July 1st for a readiness conference. His preliminary hearing is set for July 17th. Jim Anetta, back to you.